Recently, I heard the Lord speaking over many in the body of Christ, I am changing the pace to prepare you for the new space. Pay attention to the pace. When the Lord spoke this, I felt that the Lord was highlighting strongly right now to pay attention to His pace, and not just run at the pace that you are used to, because that's what you are accustomed to and used to. Dot. The Lord showed me that He is leading many into a time of pulling back, but it is not decrease, it is to move into the development room with Him, deep into the secret place to be prepared for the new space. When the Lord showed me the development room, it was like the dark room where you develop film and photos are developed. It wasn't a heavy room of darkness, it was a room of such deep hiddenness with Jesus to see some of the deepest secrets that are upon his heart and see the strategies and revelation of what is to come that is in the mind and heart of God. A greater revelation of his ways and his wisdom. It was also a place of deep development for these ones into greater depths of healing, deliverance, refreshment, clarity, the conviction of what they are called to, and the new assignments ahead. It was a deep reset on a level that I had not seen before. It was happening in this deep, hidden place with Jesus. The Lord showed me that there is going to be deep work done in the heart in this place with the Lord. There are things the Lord is wanting to work on in this development room to prepare many for what they are about to step into. It is an intentional coming deep into the heart of the Lord, for some, it is a deeper place of hiddenness. It is not a place of isolation. It is not a place of coming away because of intimidation. It is by the call of the Lord to come deeper still and into a hidden place to be developed for the new thing he is going to do that is up ahead. Song of Songs 2.13 The Lord also spoke to me, I want to quiet the noise, and I want to quiet the voices. For many have been too influenced by other voices, and I am bringing them into this development room to hear my voice again, and to hear that which I am speaking over them, and what I am calling them to in this new era. There has also been a constant barrage of the enemy's voice within their life that has wearied them greatly, and in the development room with me, I am going to bring them into a place of great refreshment and great revelation that will cause them to come back to life in the areas where weariness has almost suffocated them. The Lord spoke again, Do not be afraid of the silence. The Lord showed me that many of these ones that he is drawing into a hidden time with him are very used to business. They are used to the going to and fro, and they are used to building much with their hands. The Lord is bringing them into this development room to bring them into a greater place of divine rest in the Lord and a place of stillness of soul. There are many inner turmoils that will be put to rest in the development room. The Lord whispered again, I will forge within these ones in the development room with me what is needed for the journey ahead. Deliverance will take place in the development room with me as I free these ones from burdens, expectations, and weights that they have lived under and carried that are not from me. I am stretching out many of their broken and crippled wings, and from this deep place with me they will then come out ready to fly higher and further than they have ever flown with me, soaring into all that I have for them. Let me set the pace for the new space. Do not run with what always was, but seek my heart for the new pace. For I am shifting calendars, schedules, and paces of life to make room for what I am going to do in the lives of these ones. In the development room, they will come into a place of such deep wisdom, revelation, and understanding of what I am going to do in the coming months, as they yield to my process. This is a time to listen to me more than speaking, more than building, more than doing. This is a time to re-examine by my spirit the pace of your lives and move to the pace of my heart. For in this development room movements will be birthed and these ones will emerge from this time with me to host mighty moves of my spirit that have not been seen or experienced before. They will come forth with a roar of authority, authenticity, creativity, purity, and vision to create, build and run with me in what has not been done before. They will know how to move in what has not been done before as they discerned my call to come deep into the development room with me, yield and create the space to silence all the noise, let go, unplug and listen. 
A my glory that will be upon the birthing that will take place in the development room for these ones, as they come out of this time with me, will draw in the harvest of souls and mighty miracles, signs and wonders that will be unprecedented for these ones. My glory and fire upon these ones will burn and shine brightly as they responded with their yes to run to my invitation to come away and listen to what I am saying and in the quietness listen to the beating of my heart and partner with the rhythm of my heart. The fire will burn within them deeper than ever to move at the beat of my heart and these movements and mighty moves of my spirit that will flow through them, the sound of my heart and heartbeat will resound. They will not bow to the crowd they will move to the beat of my heart, and all of heaven will back them as they go forth from the development room with me to partner with my spirit for the enchanted territories.